Hey guys, welcome to ED Technology. My name is Navjot Singh Jadeja. In today's video, we are getting started with Weka. Weka is data mining tool which is a very popular data mining tool which is developed by Waikato University, New Zealand. So let us begin with Weka. So I have installed Weka in my system. An earlier video which you can see it here on the top corner we have seen how to install Weka into our system. So depending on you are using you know, Apple computer, Windows computer or a Linux based computer, you can follow the video and install Weka 3.8 which is the latest one right now by the time you are watching the video. So let's open the Weka. Once you open the Weka, you can see that they are setting up the environment for Weka and this is the Weka tool. So Weka is actually a flightless bird which is found in New Zealand, right? But in here, Weka is an acronym for Waikato Environment for Knowledge Analysis. It's basically a data mining workbench which contains pre-processing, classification, attribute selection, clustering and much more in terms of the support or data mining and machine learning algorithms. All in all, it's actually a comprehensive tool for data mining. And the great part is it runs on Linux, Windows or Mac. It's developed with the help of Java. So it's quite, you know, supportive on all platforms. Now, what we can do with, uh, you know, Weka, what are we going to learn? So in this video, we'll learn how to load the data into Weka. You know, we'll also see different options available with the Weka and we'll also see how to interpret different modules, different options within the Weka. So let's begin. We'll be working with the Explorer. So basically we have so many options in here once you start the Weka as I said. So experimental is something which is for performance comparisons. Like if we have a large scale machine learning methods and we want to compare those results then we wanna, we gonna use experimental. In this video, we are not gonna discuss on experimental. We'll be focused on explorer. Similarly, knowledge flow is actually a graphical interface, which provides, you know, interpretations of different types of data and how algorithms are performing. Then we have CLI, which is, uh, you know, command line interface. So if you're working on, you know, operating system or in an environment where there is no uh, command line interface, you can use this and then there is workbench so basically a Weka workbench is a collection of machine learning algorithms and data pre-processing tools that includes virtually all the algorithms described in our data mining books right it is designed so that we can quickly use existing methods and the data sets in a flexible way so we'll see that also in the further videos as I said in today's video, we are learning Explorer. So when you click on Explorer, it will basically open up a new window which is Weka Explorer. So as you can see it here, there are multiple options in here. Right at the top, if you can see, only one option is uh, right now active which is pre-process. Other options such as classify, cluster, associate, selection of attributes and visualization are not active. They will get active once we load the data. So we'll see that as I said in the further videos. But let us understand how we can load the data in the Weka. So here we have one option which is when you can open a file. So basically data supported in the Weka is either you have a binary file, you have a CSV file or even if you have ARFF file which is attribute relation file format. So I'll be preferring ARFF file. Also Weka Explorer comes with inbuilt data set which are provided for experiment purposes, learning purposes. So we'll be using that. Also if you have a website URL where from where you can fetch the data, you can use this option or if you're going to use a SQL database, you can do it using the JDBC. But as I said, in this introductory tutorial, 
in this getting started tutorial we'll be focusing on the basic functionality so when i open the file basically inside the c drive where you would have installed the program inside the program files you will find weka 3.8 the folder which is installation folder for your weka again i repeat for those who are learning it for the first time inside the c drive or inside a particular drive where you would have installed the weka there will be folder name program files inside the program files let me show it up here so inside the program files once i open it you will have weka 3.8 when i double click and open that particular folder inside that i have a folder name data when i open it i have this inbuilt data set available for different types of operations and testing within the weka tool so i have the airline dot arff breast cancer data i have contact lenses data credit card data supermarket data and much more today we are going to work with weather nominal dot arff so once i click on that particular data set and click open here it will load up something onto the screen so here let's understand what has happened in the weka tool when we loaded that particular data set so here in the current relationship you would be able to see different attributes and the instances of this particular data set which is weather dot nominal dot arf so we have five attributes uh, 14 instances right and this are the five attributes which you can see it here for each of the attribute in here you can see the values of that particular attribute in this corner so right you would have seen outlook so basically outlook has been stored into three distinct values as you can see here which is sunny overcast rainy this are the number of counts for that particular day so basically you know totally 14 days values are stored on different parameters so here when you click on edit you can actually see the whole table so this is the what what table is loaded into the weka so this are 14 days value for outlook for temperature humidity and windy four parameters and on the basis of that you can actually so they are actually predicting here play for a game which can be any game it can be cricket it can be uh, baseball it can be football anything it's not specified here but depending on this particular parameters the output of the play is actually decided it's predicted right and this are editable options so you can edit through the viewer in here you can press okay and it will be saved and you can save this if you want but right now my suggestion is do not save because we are going to play a lot with this data so this is how different uh, you know attributes you can see different values humidity has high normal play has yes and no and this particular box in here is the visualization box so this is kind of a histogram which helps you understand different uh, you know values for a particular attribute so let's assume for humidity as you can see in here when it is you know high it has a particular set of values where the play is not possible in other case it is possible similarly for normal uh, you know certain point of time the play is not possible and in other cases it's possible so this is how the weka is you know used the help of different options as i said here you can use classification clustering association rule mining selection of attributes and visualization and in here when i click here you can actually apply different pre processing filters also so when you click on this you will get filters in terms of okay yeah i was taking a while so you can get filters in terms of you know attribute uh, instances supervised and supervised and depending on your need you can apply different filters for the pre processing again for this particular video this particular tutorial we are not going to do this so basically in this tutorial what we have learned is how to load data right how to open the explorer in the first place we learned then how to get data sets into the explorer then we learned how to open the data set 
when we use the weather dot nominal dot arff then how to look at the different attributes and their values right we also saw how to edit the data set in case required and save it if we need it and also understood how to understand visualization or histogram using the weka explorer in the further tutorials we'll be seeing how to use pre processing using the weka explorer if you are new here consider subscribing also to learn more hit the bell icon to never miss an update from me technology